is going to be on adhesive uh, bonding <coughs> Uh, what is adhesive bonding? Adhesive bonding is basically a process of joining two surfaces together usually with the creation of a smooth bond. This may involve uh, the use of glue, epoxy or one of a wide range of plastic agents which bond either through the evaporation of a solvent or through the curing via heat, time or pressure. Adhesive bonding basically uh, is unique that it does not remove any surface contaminants but basically it buries them and uh, since adhesive bonding is not very strong it depends on the van der Waal uh, bonding process uh, forces so these van der Waal uh, bonding are not very strong so sometimes uh, to enhance the adhesive bonding we require a lot of surface area uh, in adhesive bonding, we have got good structural adhesives which are of great interest for engineering applications. Adhesive bonding are basically used in wide variety of engineering applications such as in automotive industries, auto, uh, structural uh, or civil engineering in industries etc. Et and there are many applications such as uh, in brake pads etc. Uh, in addition to having a good joint strength for uh, adhesive bonding, it is very important to have uh, the ability of an adhesive bond to basically insulate a material. So sometimes you want adhesive bond to be an insulator. Sometimes you want adhesive bonding uh, to prevent corrosion. So it should prevent electrochemical corrosion between dissimilar material. And sometimes it is used to reduce the vibration, noise or uh, sometimes it is used as a means of internal damping to reduce vibration. So there are various uses and uh, of adhesive bonding and they can be applied in wide variety of applications. Some of the terminologies which we use in adhesive bonding are basically adhesive and adherence. Adhesive is basically the filler material, uh, the chemical uh, based filler material which we use. Uh, sometimes it is uh, you a polymer is used as well and adherents are basically those parts which are required to be joined using adhesive are called adherents so what are the advantages and disadvantages or limitations of uh, adhesive, adhesive bonding <laughs> So uh, as we know that adhesive bonding has the advantage that numerous parts or components can be joined and they can be assembled by various kinds of adhesives. So we have got wide variety of adhesives available as well. Uh, so it is uh, sometimes it involves low temperature so you don't need to heat the material to very high temperatures and uh, low temperature uh, curing can basically avoid damage to the parts being joined. Sometimes adhesion is used to seal as well as to reduce or limit vibration or reduce corrosion etc. So the joint design is basically quite simplified. Some of the limitations of adhesive bonding are that it is not very strong so sometimes you need uh, a hybrid joint such as you need to rivet as well as then you need to use the adhesive. So basically you can use different varieties of uh, joints together and adhesive, adhesive bonding can basically significantly enhance the uh, the joint itself adhesive are uh, sometimes are compatible but then sometimes they are not compatible with uh, some of the materials uh, surface temperatures are limited and you need to be very careful with the cleanliness and surface preparation prior to the application of the adhesive curing time basically curing time is the time which uh, basically when you apply adhesive it is liquid and then it takes time to solidify so curing time is that time so curing time uh, basically can limit the production rates and then uh, the inspection is a bit difficult so there is a research hyperlink for you guys uh, there is a research on basically the influence of aluminium oxide nanoparticles on the adhesion and thermomechanical properties of epoxy adhesive so basically what the author has done in this research is basically they have joined two, uh, adhe two adherents by adhesive and then in that adhesive they have used epoxy and then in that epoxy they have basically increased the concentration of alumina oxide nanoparticles so what they observed is that once the concentration of alumina oxide increases then the uh, the joint strength increases and the highest joint strength was achieved for one uh, weight percent of alumina uh, nanoparticles in epoxy composite which contributed to around 52.4% improvement in the tensile 
shear strength and uh, what they you can see that uh, the red marks basically they show cohesive failure so as the cohesive failure increases uh, the more is the redness the more is the cohesive failure so so basically the more the more is the cohesive failureness of a material or an adhesive the more stronger it is or more it resists uh, failure so that is why for one person we see highest amount of cohesive failure against adhesive failure so we prefer cohesive failure in uh, uh, it has a bonding so you can go through this research it was carried by out by a UMP researcher and a link has been provided so what is curing just now I just told you guys that curing basically is a physical property of an adhesive uh, when it is changed from liquid to solid so it is usually occurs by a chemical reaction or it, it is assisted by heat or catalyst and for curing we need uh, basically curing is relatively carried out at low temperature so if you provide very high temperature maybe the chemical chemical bond will break out or maybe the chemistry of the uh, adhesive will change or maybe it might even evaporate out so it is very important to carefully maintain the curing temperature so curing has a disadvantage that it takes time and when it takes time then the production rate becomes slow one uh, important consideration is that to enhance the curing you can sometimes apply pressure to activate the bonding process now the joint strength of uh, adhesive bonding depends on the type of adhesive obviously which we'll see in the next slide and the attachment what is attachment between adhesive and adherents attachment is basically what kind of chemical bonding or what kind of physical interaction or what kind of mecha mechanical interlocking which occurred between the adhesive and the adherents so for instance if we talk about chemical bonding then it is basically uh, primarily a chemical bond uh, due to the nature of the adhesive that we are going to use then what happens is that physical interactions can also occur secondary bonding forces between atoms of opposing forces can also emanate and thirdly mechanical interlocking due to the roughness of the surface so if our surface is very rough then what happens is that it helps in the entanglement of the adhesive as if and uh, the microscopic surface asperities some of the asperities which we see uh, as a surface roughness basically they help in the entanglement and then enhances the joint strength so that is why surface preparation and joint design are also very important factors in adhesive bonding process so what are the types of adhesive uh, the types of adhesive based on strength so we have got natural adhesives inorganics and synthetic adhesives synthetic adhesives are basically a part of thermoplastic and thermo setting polymers so based on these uh, types of adhesive we can classify different types of uh, adhesive such as epoxy polyurethane modified acrylic uh, cyanoacrylate and anaerobic based adhesives and each of these uh, types or kinds of adhesive they have got they have got their own properties so for instance uh, let's say uh, if we talk about tensile shear strength then for tensile shear strength uh, which is mentioned in megapascal modified acrylic is basically giving us 25.9 megapascal so this has uh, the high strength but when we talk about uh, solvent resistance and moisture resistance together then we can see that uh, epoxy has the best uh, moisture and solvent resistance so based on the properties based on the compatibility of the adhesive basically we can choose different types of adhesive based on our applications so based on our applications we can basically uh, further classify different types of adhesives and different applications have been uh, tabulated and then each uh, type of application has been commented as to where these uh, different types of uh, thermoplastic or what kind of material has been used in such applications so uh, students can go through this table and then answer some of the questions which are mentioned below each table <clears throat> this is a continuation of different types of adhesive some of the comments which have been mentioned against each application so basically how do we test adhesives or adhesion testing adhesion testing is basically carried out to meet the requirements of a particular application for instance if in applications that require tensile or shear strength we usually perform shear or peel strength so this is basically a shear strength uh, test and this is basically a peel test and this is basically a tensile test sometimes we require toughness sometimes we require resistance to various fluids and chemicals so each of uh, these requirements require different types of testing and last but not least adhesion uh, 
adhesion adhesive bonds require joint designing as well so in order to have a very good joint design you need to have a good surface area coverage various joint design uh, are basically performed in adhesive bonding and good joint design if you see and if you note here a good or very good joint design and you can see the large contact areas have been given between the members to be joined uh, if you look at this figure uh, B, you can see that the adhesive bond can be used in combination of other joints. For instance, I can use rivet plus adhesive. For instance, I can use a tack weld plus adhesive to further enhance the joint strength. It is very important to note that design for adhesive bonding are basically based on the fact that you need to be very good in terms of compressive, tensile and shear forces. And you should not design based on just the peeling or cleavage strength. It should encompass all of these other strength as well. So this was all, all about uh, adhesive bonding process and next we will look into the numericals for adhesive bonding.